guys, welcome to Gavi Gaming TV and welcome to another Farming Sim 19 video. Uh, today we're in an old favourite of mine, Chellington. But it's not the old Chellington map, this is Chellington Valley. Um, Oxygen Dave has <coughs> redone the Chellington map in a massive way. Hit escape here. So, where are we? There's the old Chellington farm, which I think used to be centrish in a map, didn't it? And you can see a good few farms around us. There's another farm over here. And there's a nice one up there. A little one there. If we zoom out, that was a more. You can see it's a pretty big map. Um, he's redesigned it to be a full sort of the village, more of um, all valley sort of thing. It's Challenge of Valley. It looks really, really cool. Um, this is actually the start of my single player, which I will probably do a let's play on. Um, and just add it into the mix. I'm doing a multiplayer with uh, Ramped Mob 4. Obviously, some of you will watch his farming sim videos and streams. Um, and we're not actually using Chillington Farm for the Let's Play. I am using this one up here. And I think he's using this one down here at the bottom. Um, so I'll show you them two farms first, and then we'll have a look at a few of the other little places. What is even a farm there? I think I missed actually. Oh no, not to that one. It's got a really long drive to it. Yeah, so we'll do two of the, of the farms. Nice, right, so I'll show you the chant in itself. The main map hasn't really changed much. Well, the main farm, I should say. Uh, big farmhouse up there. Very fancy pants. You have kind in here. The ground is a lot bumpier here than it used to be. As you can see, it's pretty much the same way. That rainbow you've got some uh, really nice lighting effects um, on this map. He's been taking the lighting. I also am running seasons. Um, and precision farm, as you can see by the uh, RTK station over there. Obviously, the precision farming equipment in front of me there. But yeah, most of it's pretty much the same. Um, more detail on it, as I don't think the aircon fans were there last time. Um, there are apparently some places that do flood when it's raining, but I haven't found them yet because this is the first time I've seen the rain, to be honest, at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, the farm itself is pretty much the same layout. It just looks a bit more detailed. Um, as you can see, I've got my Fords on. I always have to have my Fords. Uh, I've got some New Hollands, my Jet Watches over there. My JC Bearhouse somewhere. Oh, excuse me. There's a plow. Um, but yeah, the farm is. They're pretty much the same. And details. Looks great. Your chicken coop. Oh yeah, you see, main farm. Them as always, which I liked, to be honest. That's why I'm doing a single player on this farm. Now, the multiplayer that I'm doing with Ramsey, I have this farm up here. It's actually real. I actually really like this farm. I have my gear up here and I've got the fields surrounding it. I own 29, 28, and 27 at the minute. On my uh, multiplayer one. And it's a good wee farm. It's got just what you want. One of the stations you need. A couple of uh, buildings there for storing vehicles, fuel station. And then across the way, 
You've got another couple of good sheds. Silos. A little breakout house is what I call it. Uh, so we, this one's this one's quite a nice wee house. Uh, we farms on. Um, but this is the one I'm using more to play, and then ramp tears down. Yeah, this one. We use using this farm again. It's split across two sections, so it's across two roads there. Here and then there's some equipment over here as well. As you can see, the detail is really good on Chelsea. Like, um, it's a pity we can't have the option to clean some of this rubbish up. It is cool looking, but sometimes it does get a little much. But uh, it's cracking farms, like. I'm not sure what this is in the middle. Like a mini roundabout. Ooh, keep it in that one. Uh, I think he owns like 8385. Maybe one of these, I'm not too sure to be honest. Oh, yeah. Well, there are some really nice farms about. I mean, there's a little one here. We sheep farm. So this this is we were waiting for this to come out before we did multiplayer. Because we knew it was gonna be a big map and we knew it was gonna have a lot of farms in it. Um there was something like ten. Ten farms I wanna say of varying sizes. Um and they're they're really nice like to be fair. This one up here is another cattle one. Quite nice. Farmhouse, bad sheds, loads of bales. Look, nice little like it open for them. Um, well, yeah, they're really, really nice. Well done, farms. Nicely detailed. This one's got a big fancy drive wheel to it, all. Fancy Castles here again. Um I said the stores are them as always, like Stormers quite nice looking. Well detailed. All the sound effects. There are missions on this as well, by the way, guys, if you want to uh do some missions for cash. This is the farm in the top left corner. Again, some great storage, great details here for storing grain and stuff in. They all have their own wee names, look. <sighs> this was Pine Creek Farm. So, I mean, you don't have to come here and do animals. This is a cow pasture, it doesn't mean you're going to use it. Um, Neither of us on the multiplayer at the minute are doing animals. Uh, we're both just doing agri at the minute. I'm doing uh, oats and weeds and things like that. And Ramp's doing onions and carrots, one of the new crops. So, yeah, plenty of farms about it, guys, we'd look around. Garden centres, I'm not looking at everything, like. Um, and the shop is down here. Well, the stores down here. There's Bob and his little sandbone thing. Cleaning up. Uh, I have a truck here. And a forklift for basically the deliveries. I'll buy, like, I don't know, bags of stuff. Which reminds me of on that. Um, load it up and then drive it to my place. It's not me coming in my tractor and stuff. It looks like the store is delivering it. Um, but I did have the I can't uh, thingy to him, it's took it off. I 
Can't tap to him. I don't know if he's doing that every time I'm loading or not. I'm going to have to check that. So, this is the shop. Now, the cool thing about the shop is, right, watch. There, you find a small tractor. Uh, it's a little massy, right? You go to look at it, it's actually at the shop. It doesn't take you into a separate building. Then, when you buy it, it'll go there, and you can see all the vehicles stacked up that you've bought. See? It's real time. Um, on multiplayer it's quite amusing because I was uh, looking at a vehicle to buy and Ramp drove into it with his truck and just flung it miles away um, he couldn't see it but the physics of it was still there so I saw it get whacked and thrown away um, but yeah this is quite a nice tractor I haven't used masses for a long time um, but yeah so the, the store is, is actually using the storefront which is pretty cool nice, nice little touch that um yeah what else can we have a look at let's have a look at the town the town's pretty cool well the town's pretty detailed it's got a big roundabout of vehicles there's a few lorries that are about um, another road sweeper. Doing that. That one does look pretty cool. Nice details of bikes and cars lying around, bus stops. Look. Oh, that's cool. Look, Sandy Bears on your bus stop. Ha <laughs> ha. That's brilliant. What? Oh, cool, never noticed that. Sandy Bay Holiday Park. <laughs> That's brilliant, well done. Uh, well, yeah, it looks, like, it looks like it's been lived in. Look, vehicles on the back, bit of graffiti there. Things to the building. Trash everywhere. No, a bit of work going on here. Have a big garage look. Bell point. So, oh, you know, the towns are impressive looking. Uh, as well as your towns, you have main. Roll up here, there's a few more shops on it. One out of here, this looks really cool too. Rocking companies and all that lot. But here's like a really dual carriageway. As you see, you've got your petrol station. Auto wash doesn't work, I've tried it, it was gutted. Just go bite and put a thing in there. AFC, Mac and E's, and look, you've got scanning your trucks on the road. It's scanning look like this looks really good. Big cameras are back in. We've got coppers doing speed checks as well. Here comes a lorry look. There's a train that goes around as well, it looks really cool. So you have a proper British rail trail that goes around. Uh, trains are. So oh, it is really, really well detailed. The roads and the towns look really cool. Um, as well as an old car and stuff, there is a cement mix that goes around. One or two custom ones, like. Uh, there's not really a massive area for forestation. There's a little bit there. Um, but it's not a lot, really. Animal place and all that stuff here. So, that's kind of cool. It's a good, it's a good way out, really. 
You know what I mean? What a cracking job of modeling the place like, and the detail is amazing. It must have took a long time to go this dump. Like an MOT center over here. So, so all these different things. Going to market, and exactly dairies and things like that. It's really cool. You see the balloons in the background there with a back to manufacturers on class and on the old jazz. It's pretty cool. Where else can we have a butchers? A fruit farm, these stores. Nip here. If I can blast across here to the castle. So the castle is in one piece this time. I think I'm not quite honest, but I think last time it was actually a room. So the castle is in one piece and it looks pretty cool. That would be a good shot actually for the video. Um, you've got uh, River bolts and barges, whatever you want to call them. Knocking around, which is cool, nice detailed. There's one actually that goes around the moat. Here, too. That's yeah, pretty cool. Now, I'm considering if some of you may remember the last time I had Challenger on, I had a um, agricultural show built here where I did it as all the different vehicle manufacturers and I was doing it as if I was um, a guy going around looking at all the tractors, trying them out coming to them and stuff like that uh, a bit like someone like George Saunders or something like that would do or um, even old Zach Millennial Farmer when he goes to the shows it was quite cool. Um, I don't think I ever got it finished because this came out while I was doing it. I think I only got one episode up, maybe. Uh, and it was here around the castle. Now, this field is pretty big. There's a hedge, unfortunately, separating them here. Um, because I had like the car park and stuff in there last time. Which I probably still could if there's a gap here, yeah, there's a gap here. We could probably still do that, have the car park or whatnot in this section. And then you can come through this into the field and this is where the show would be. Um, do, 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 there is a way in somewhere over here, I think, yep. Yeah. I mean, this is a large field in itself, right? But, you know, expect a lot of people to come to these things. So oh, yeah, I could sort this out as the car park and then have the actual show in 53. We'll see about that. I'll take a lot to set up because if I'm going to do displays on each manufacturer and equipment and stuff, it's a lot of gear to move here. So um, yeah, that might be a while off yet. But let us know in the comments down below if you actually want to see that. Obviously with lockdown being on at the moment, nobody's getting any, out to any shows or anything like that. So I think it would be quite cool for that as well to to sit and have like a virtual agri show where you can watch me walk around the vehicles um show some information on them maybe discuss them see what i think about them um like a virtual agri show i suppose but uh yeah let me know guys in the comments below what you think so i think all in all it's a pretty cool map i do like it a lot uh, I hope you're going to join me for the Let's Play. And uh, yeah, that, ladies and gents, is Challenge Valley. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you uh, like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, and uh, ring that ding dong bell. That helps the channel greatly and gets more people over here. And um, also, if you wish to help support the channel, help me upgrade my computer a little bit more. 
uh, so that I can actually start uh, recording again properly. It's starting to struggle with some of the games now. Uh, there is a link down below to my merch store. You can buy Gavi Gaming TV merchandise like uh, hoodies, mugs, t shirts, extra extra large mouse mats, normal mouse mats, things like that. And there is also a link down below for PayPal if you uh, just wish to buy us a pint or chuck us 50p or a quid or whatever. Uh, again, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you on the farm.